Uh-oh. 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 Uh, I've made a huge mistake. We're gonna gather the crew. We're gonna go get a... Zerua and a Ralt. I mean, they did, they did put a Sableye in the Lost Zone. I have to assume that they're not playing two Sableye, right? If you're playing Giratina Hands, do you have room for another Sableye? Ra I don't care as long as as long as the Ravens are in there. Because if the Ravens are in there, that means the Chiefs aren't in there. So I'm cheering 100% for the Ravens tomorrow. We want the Ravens. No Chiefs here, okay? Lions or 49ers don't care. They could go to quadruple overtime and everyone could be injured for the rest of the year. I don't care. Okay, this is fine. We do have a Curlia. So... We will save that. And we go Iono. That's probably going to help them more than anything. Yeah, I don't care how many overtimes they go to. And then, do I put down the Manaphy? That is the question right now, is do I put down Manaphy? Or do we save the Manaphy? Because they're playing... Maybe they don't have a way to use the dude, right? So we'll, uh, we'll get these guys down. I don't think they have another Sableye. That is my thinking, is they don't have another Sableye. Please don't drop a Sableye on me right now. And I don't think they have a Greninja. So I'm taking many risks right now that they don't have a Sableye and they don't have Greninja. And yeah, Alberto, that is what people are saying is the game is crashing a lot more. But that's what the error message when you boot up live says. It, it's uh, I can put it on screen, actually, can't I? Did I save it? I don't think I saved it. I have to get the tweet. All right, and then can we please get the Dawn fan? That would be that would be perfect if Dawn fan could show up for work right now. So they're gonna amp me very much. I just need Dawn fan, and then we win. So as long as Dawn fan isn't prized, uh, but actually I can also use the camera up. So we have two chances to knock this dude out. We can get Dawn fan or camera up. And that is that is El Busto. All right, so we got Dawn Fan and Camera up. We're going to evolve into this guy. We're going to... Uh, yeah, I think we definitely get Dawn Fan, because Camera up forces you to discard the energy. You know, Dawn Fan can't attack the next turn, but that's okay. Because I, I, can, I can use another attack. It's not a big deal. Actually... Do I knock out the Giratina now? Because I can't knock out the Giratina later. Oh, do I think they have bosses? Oh, God. <laughs> How many chances am I willing to take this matchup? How many? <laughs> How many chances are we willing to take? Uh, but that's the thing. If I knock out the dude... Oh no. Okay, no, we gotta we gotta knock out the iron hands. We can't let the iron hands just win this game right now. So I have to do this. And then we'll go powerful spin. Cause if they just have bosses, then they go up uh four to four to two. And that would be very, very bad. But the thing that I was thinking is, I can't knock out a Giratina V-Star with a one-shot. You know, Camerupt is very good, because it just does a blanket 240. You do have to discard the reversal. But I think my win condition is just going to be slow, bro. So I'll, I'll two-shot a Giratina, or I'll, you know, knock out Cramorant, Cramorant. And then I'll hit him with the Twilight Inspiration. 
I think that's the play now. Oh, but Dawnfan's already putting in work. I don't think it's the best fighting type. I think that's the Hisui and Arcanine. But I, I, because it burns, it does 160 and burns, and you can also attack the next turn. But I really think the Cragolanch is just better, because a lot of Zoroark decks started to play the Togetic. And by playing the Togetic, that was your, you know, Snorlax counters. Oh, you play the Togetic, you force them to draw three cards, and then they just lose via deck out because they thought they could just recycle their Pidgeot. So it's the same thing, except now you have your Fighting type attacker and your your stall deck counter. So it sort of it does two things in one, right? Because if they if they fail an attack this turn, I just use Cragalanch. Right? I don't care. I don't mind using Cragalanch. Crap, they they have they have the Sableye. Okay, where's where's my Jirachi? No, no, I said you can't do this. I said you're not allowed to do this. Oh no. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Yep, saw that one coming. Okay, so I definitely have to get the Jirachi. But I, I honestly thought, oh, they only have the one Sableye. Alright, let's go... Let's just Artisan directly into the Jirachi. No funny business. Just gonna go directly into Jirachi. And then I think I... Okay, here's, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I've already figured it out. I've already decided how I'm gonna win this one. We're going to... Get rid of that Zoroark next turn. There's a switch, so I can reversal, knock out the Giratina, and then we just win the game. That is how this is going to go. So we go, we get rid of the Manaphy, and the Ultra, and the Artisan. Go get Zoroark. Oh, this is gonna drain all my resources to do, but it's fine. We're going to... Switch into the Zoroark. And then we Phantom Transformation into Camerupt. Reversal Energy, the Camerupt. Counter Catcher, the Giratina. And then Miriam. These guys back in. I, I totally didn't forget that that is a thing that happens. Okay, and then we go, yep, 240, take the KO. And then I can definitely put some pressure on them and make them think I have another Switch card. And then I can, I can directly go and get the Slowbro. So we switch into the Slowbro. And Falcatrua Galaponte. Uh they will be in your collection. They will you'll have to you'll have to build a deck. So you can check out the starter guide if you're if you're lost. But yeah, they're gonna spit doesn't doesn't hit for weakness. Oh, what's that? You don't hit for weakness. Oh, how how unfortunate. Your your Cramorant doesn't hit for weakness. Oh, so sorry. I'm so sorry for you. How could how can I make you feel better about that? All right, let's uh let's Ultra Ball away. Let's level ball first. We got a Curly. I wouldn't get rid of that. And Minuteman, if you thrust me, you might win one if you're lucky. All right, and then we just. We're going to put the pressure on them, because I know I have another Reversal Energy. So I'm going to directly go into the Slowbro and be like, you're going to have to deal with the Slowbro, bro. So I'll put that guy down, and then we hit him with the Iono. Okay. 
and then we go end turn. So they're not going to know what's about to hit them. I'm going to threaten the slow bro. We're going to play mind games on them. I also don't have a backup Zerua, so maybe me being funny is going to not work out for me. All right, I don't know if they're going to stall me out or what, but I, I will win this one if you just try to do nothing the entire game. I have nine energy in the deck, and there's only four that are accounted for, and I have a super rod. There we go. They took the KO. So we go into the Dawn Fan. There's a Zerua. And then we just go end turn, right? Well, how many metal energy? Yeah, we'll just go end turn. And Ty Domi, thank you for coming out. We will see you in the future. I will see you even when you're even when you're sleeping. All right, so we're going to double turbo, and then we'll we'll put the Zorark, and then we just go Cragalanch, get rid of two cards from your deck, and then there's a switch card and that, and then if they do anything, we win. <laughs> so if you do anything, I win the game. And if you do nothing, I win the game. So that is the power of Slowbro. I've always said Slowbro is the best part of this deck. And you, you do not doubt the Slowbro. Alright, there's Gallade. That is absolutely perfect. We're going to put as much energy back into the deck as possible, which is literally one. Uh, that's okay. We're going to go get a Zerua. We're going to Artisan the other Zerua, because I don't believe the game is going to get me what I need. We're going to have to Cynthia's Ambition for an energy, so we go Curlia away the Zerua. And there we go. Don't even need to dig. This is just great. You know, sometimes the world is not kind to Zoroark, and then other times you play perfectly, and it just you just win. So, you know, I'm obviously the number one PDCGO player, and now I'm the number one Zoroark player. So, there's 800 crystals. And D Sharper, there you go. There you go. I'm not, I can't, I can't uh, endorse that. But, you know, that's a great idea. You are now my favorite. You know, Shiny Ray was my favorite. You are now my favorite for coming up with such a brilliant strategy. Uh, okay, so we're going to... I think we get another Ralts. Because then I can erase you next turn for Curlia, Curlia. And then I can do whatever I want. So yeah, I think this is the safest play. They're playing Roaring Moon. They can get a turn one knockout easily. I don't recommend falling in the cockpit. Okay, all right. All right. It's Sonny. No, Sonny, you are a content creator. You can do this. You can obtain the codes and do this yourself. Oh, they're just throwing right now. They're literally throwing. You're giving me a squawkabilly? Uh, a Roaring Moon and a Mui X. If I don't win this game, I will give I Am Legend a free code. Actually, no, let me wait until I see the Iono. Okay, never mind. I take that back. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, we're, uh, we're taking that one back. And give the codes to someone else. All right, so then we'll pick another winner. Davy Broy. Davy, do, <laughs> do you even need the code, da Davy Broy? I feel like you also don't need the code. No, I, that was, that was before I saw the Iono. So, because the Iono was so bad, we're going to have to, we're going to save it. So, you do want the code. So, you want the 800 crystals. Alrighty. Then the code is coming, coming your way. We're halfway done all the codes. I'm surprised a bunch of uh, new players haven't dropped in and tried to win the codes. But I guess they just, they just don't want them. 
All right. No, we got we got the Curlia. We're fine. So we go for Curlia. And then I can't do anything curliently. Get it? It's like currently, but curliently. That was that was garbage. Okay, so then we're gonna get rid of that. I think we. I was gonna say, do we retreat into the Basculin? Does that even does that mean anything? I don't think we retreat into the Basculin now. I think we uh, we get rid of the Basculin, put the two energy up here. I'll put them down to the bottom of the deck. I will evolve into. Yeah, I mean, I think we just do nothing. Right? Um, are they playing the water build, though? I haven't seen a water energy, so I have to assume they're not playing the Radiant Greninja water build. Oh, God, please don't be. Please don't be. Be doing that. Don't play the water build. That's all I ask of you. And Kyle throws. Yeah, but you're throwing too hard. You gotta you gotta try harder. You can't be you can't be throwing right now. Okay. Surprising surprisingly low number of Pokemon are showing up for me right now. The uh the Sci the Scizor would be pretty good right now, but apparently I'm playing a Zoroar deck with no Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, we will we will complete that one. We'll start another giveaway. So just exclamation point thrust. We've been doing giveaways all day long. And then I think after I do this giveaway, it'll be the best dad joke. We'll get it. So whoever tells me the best dad joke after I do this one, then we'll do it. Yeah, this if I could just find the scissor, we'd be fine. And now we just need the Stow Villain. Watch me prize the Stow Villain. Now watch me whip, then watch me prize the Stow Villain. They didn't bump the Artisan. That is interesting. But I guess it does make sense. Alright, let's go. We're going to... Yeah, well, Artisan for the Zerua. Is Stow Villain in the deck, or do we have to go get Camerupt? Camerupt is insane! Like, do you understand how good Camerupt is? You can just knock out a Roaring Moon. Oh, you prized your Stow Villain. That's okay. <laughs> uh, oh no, I prized my Stow Villain. What am I going to do? Well, actually, it's it's fairly easy. You just you just attack with Camerupt and do 240. You know, it's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, geez, man. I prized my Stow Villain. What am I supposed to do? Uh, Camerupt literally just gets you there. It is, it is insane how good it is. Camerupt is a huge game changer. And I'm, I'm happy it exists. Alright, so Roaring Moon's getting knocked out here. I think we will... Do I Ultra Ball? Nah, we'll be fine. They're, they're not gonna Iono me. What, what Roaring Moon deck plays Iono? They play Professor Sada. Yeah, Ultra Ball, but I didn't have Mangos, I didn't have the energy, that's why I didn't do it. I think I could have done it, but I'd already committed to not doing it, and I also didn't want to do it. I didn't want to sacrifice, you know, like the early game for the late game. So I was, I was very calculated in that, because you don't have to go fast against Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon doesn't have a single prize attacker right now. Other than more Pekko, and that only does 70 damage. Yes, when the baby Roaring Moon comes out in Temporal Forces in less than two months, you do have to worry a little bit there. And Mangos... Shh, no, this is going on YouTube. Okay, this is going on YouTube. They can't know that I sometimes make mistakes. Okay, a little known secret is that Poketubers, they edit out their mistakes. Okay, we can't let them know. I'm about to body Roaring Moon... Okay, you, you can't you can't leak it, Mangos. Okay, you are not getting a code. You have you have angered the pilot. Okay. No, okay, mods mods ban ban Mangos. Oh no, Mangos is a mod. Oh geez, uh, I, another I need another mod. I need another mod to ban them. Okay, what are they? Okay, that's fine. I can I can do two hundred if we get the Scizor. Alright, so if we just, if we can get a bosses or literally anything, we'll be fine. 
I will get the Ralts. How many bosses we got in the deck? Zero. Uh, but we do have two counter catcher, which means absolutely nothing. So right now it's just going to be a case of prepping for a little bit later here. So I'm not going to do anything this turn. We're just going to wait them out a little bit. And then we will refinement the Corlia. All right, I will super rod the energy Zerua Zoroark. Artisan for the Zerua. And then, yeah, we don't have to do anything, right? Like, what, what am I? Yeah, I'll raise you for all my evolutions, sure. Right? It doesn't matter. If they do anything, they lose the game. <laughs> right? Like, if you do a single thing, you literally just lose the game. Uh, I should probably put the Golaid into play. Ah, I believe in the heart of the cards. Okay, stage two spork. No, okay, I said best dad joke after we do this giveaway. Okay, you can't, you can't come early, okay? No one likes it when you come early. You gotta, you gotta wait for the right time. You, you know, you gotta wait till the other person says it's okay. Oh, there's the Iono. I told you, I knew they were gonna do it, but I thought it'd be funnier to let them do it. Uh, and we just have the Zoroark's Scizor combo. You're gonna, you're gonna catch her up a Curlia? Bro, you don't stand any chance against me. I am toying with you. You're playing my game right now. If, if Roaring Moon faces Zoroark and the Zoroark has any sort of a decent start, Roaring Moon can't win. It is like, it's the Maridon matchup as well. Maridon cannot beat Zoroark if they have even the most decent of starts. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is a family-friendly channel. What are you doing with the the very... Uh-oh, this is bad. Um, okay, I think we put the Manaphy down. Oh yeah, so I think Foul Quatrua gets the cut. All right, I we're, I think it's all right. It doesn't matter, you know. Foul Quatrua, Foul Quatrua. When you come early, it's a good thing. There you go. You earned that one. So let's go level ball for the Jirachi. And then I can just counter catcher. That's fine. Um, hmm. I've already used my super rod. I can't remember if there's two super rods. So believe it or not, I think we get rid of the Iono. Because if I get rid of anything else, we might lose the combo. And that would be very, very bad. So I'm going to... I'm going to play it very safe right now. I'm not going to do anything to, to jeopardize the game right now. I mean, technically I am by getting rid of the Zoroark. But we'll be fine. We'll find that Miriam... So 210, so we'll do that. Uh, yeah, I can't knock out anybody without an ability. So I think Mew EX is the best one to knock out. And then I can, I can bosses the Squawk ability. That was another reason to knock out the Mew instead of the Squawk ability. Well, I didn't get the bosses. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. But... The big brain play there was you knock out the Mew, because now Scizor is still doing 160 against the Squawkabilly. Obviously, I would have needed to get the bosses from the prizes, and that's clearly not going to happen, because PDCGL hates me. Wait, are they going to go for the Zerua again? Because if you go for the Zerua, that's fine. I can just two-shot somebody. I will have to obviously... Yeah, I'll obviously have to, to get another Zerua. And Shadow Seeker, you already watched my video. You know why I'm playing Dawn Fan over Togetic. Don't need to explain it to you. All right, we 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 do lose this game, by the way, if uh, if something goes wrong here. So because I had to get rid of the counter catcher, which was a, a big oopsie, 
And because we prize the bosses, things are not the way they were before. This should have been a YouTube game. They Iono'd me. Okay, that's actually really good. Because now I'm going to get my delayed. I'm going to have everything I need. Well, we got a Zoroark at the worst possible freaking time. Okay, we got we got the worst Iono possible. We we prized the bosses and then just very bad things happened. All four Zerua are in there. We got the Gallade. We are fine. Okay, so I have to go for Miriam off of this. We have to Miriam 100% here. Uh, I think we Miriam first, because I also have to, you know, get the Zerua. <laughs> we also have to, you know, get those Zerua. So we'll go Zerua, 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 Zerua. All four of them in the deck. If I don't find two Zerua here, we know the game hates me. All right, there we go. We found a Zerua. Uh, there's nothing to shuffle back in. All right, we just need one more. One more is all I ask of you. Okay, we got two. That's GG, baby. That's GG, baby. All right. Yes, uh, I should have, you know, remember that turn where I got rid of the Iono and the counter catcher or was that a different turn? There was a turn where I got rid of a counter catcher and something else. And I should have saved the counter catcher realizing that the game hates me and bosses will be my final prize. And Mofo, if you want to if you want to slide into these DMs, slide into these DMs. If you got codes to give away, you slide into these DMs. And this is the prediction game. They have to use frenzy gouging. So that is totally fine. I could have taken an easy knockout on this Roaring Moon with whatever, but you always finish the game. A hundred for free? This is better than toes for free. Iona was a lie. Iona was an absolute lie. Wait, did they Roxanne or Iono? Doesn't matter. It's a lie. No, no, this is the prediction game. Pilot has decreed it. Why would you concede? I was not... I was not doing that. Uh, but yeah, Mofo, if you want to send them on Discord, since there's so many, that would be a lot easier. Oh, and PDCGL broke. Great. We're going to start Basculin, and it's going to be great. Oh my god. I am, I am the smartest man alive. I, you know what? I'm not even a man. I'm a god. Oh crap, it's this Pathra. Oh no. Um... Okay, we, we do lose this matchup. <laughs> so... No, wait, no. Scizor can win us this matchup. They just have to have five Pokemon with abilities. But... The reversals are going to be the only way that we can win this one. We have to masterfully bait them, okay? That is the only way we can win, is they have to get masterfully baited here. Because I have to... So I'm going to have to find people with, like, uh, one attack cost. But then I only have four reversals, and that's very bad. So let's go get... Uh, Ralt Zerua. How many... Did we... Pr Wait a second. Okay, there's a couple in my house. Wait, how many stage ones did we prize? Yeah, that's... Being smart is, is a net negative. And stage two support. No, we're gonna win. As Pathra, they just have to not suck... They just have to suck Ra. Okay, that's all that has to happen. If they suck, we win. You know, we'll they suck, we'll blow. You know, when they suck, you blow. That's that's how you win. Okay, so what has to happen? I have to use my counter catchers extremely well. I have to knock out the Pokemon that don't have abilities. I'm going to have to drop the Jirachi 
Just like I dropped my pants. Because they're taking a knockout on the Bastion. And I need to guarantee as much draw as possible. Uh, okay, okay, this is fine, this is fine. I... I don't think there's any way we win this, to be honest. What, I, I can... I can camera up? Like, if, if they can't find bosses, I can set up a camera up to knock them out? So, I would have to... I would have to get camera up. I would have to Zoroark into camera up. I would have to attach an energy to the camera up. And oh god, this is gonna hurt my brain. There is a chance that I can win this one. They are literally filling up their side of the field with abilities. Anus, anuses be thrusting. And Davy Broy. Uh, I, yeah, PDC GL's having some issues. Okay, you know, it's, you, you gotta give it time to figure out what it's doing. Yeah, you just gotta restart the game. That's, uh, any, it's just like, you know, in real life. Anytime something goes wrong, just restart the game. Okay, so... I will counter catcher. I'm doing this not because I want to, but because I need to draw more cards. We need to get... That is literally perfect. So we go Zoroark. And then I Ultra Ball those two. We go and get... So if I get Scizor, I can just attach the Metal Energy that everyone has an ability. So we go get Scizor first. But if I get Cam... No, if I get Camera up, that's bad. So we have to get Scizor. Because this way I can use my Metal Energy. I don't have to use a Reversal because next turn we're not going to be able to do anything. That is very apparent. We're not going to be able to do anything next turn. So what I have to do is... Just take my time, hope they don't boss my Zerua. If they do boss my Zerua, I can get a meaningful attack in. Just Like I said, this is going to be very sketchy. This is going to be a very sketchy matchup. As Pathra is a huge problem. I didn't want to knock out the Mew EX this early in the game. I wanted to take my time, set up a knockout with Camera up on the As Pathra, save the Mew for later. But because I took that Mew knockout so early and Slowbro only has a two attack cost, so I can attach a reversal to Slowbro and that only has a two attack, attack cost. So that goes through Espathra. So all I have to do is knock out one Espathra and I win the game. My God, my brain hurts. You know, this is revenge for all those victories I had with Espathra the other day. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. We we literally we literally got this. The camera up is in the hand. We have a Zinnia. We have an Artisan. I am guaranteeing a victory. We give them the Jirachi. Uh, do we give them the Jirachi? Because if I give them the camera up, they can't actually attack, right? Because they'd well, have to attach another energy. No, I think giving them the camera up early is just too big brain of a play. So we, we take our time, hope they don't find bosses. They're already down to bosses. If I can Iono them low, that would be very good. They didn't... Oh my god, they didn't take a knockout! Espathra is garbage, I told you this. I told you Espathra is garbage. It is an absolute garbage card. Okay, we're going to Artisan for a, a, a Zerua. I told you this. Espathra's attack is the weakest attack you've ever seen in the history of the universe. I should have grabbed the Manaphy and Zinnia it away. But this is fine. We're going to... Uh, I think we go Curlia for... No, we'll, we'll go for the Roths. We'll go for the Roths first. We want to we wanna thin that out. Oh, Espathra's trash. Espathra's trash -ra. 
All right, there's another. Wait, the deck plays three Curlia. Have I just been prizing Curlia all day long? Okay, so 130. And then I can Punishing Scissors again next turn. Oh, this is great. Because now I can just knock out the Aspathra with a reversal on the Scizor. And I can counter catch her. Oh, God. Well, this is why I play simple decks, okay? This is why I play spread. This is why I played spread back in the day. You didn't have to think. This is why I play Woad Trio. You think you have to think with Woad Trio? No, you just push a button. You you watch the the coins flip, and then it's just you win. That's all it is. There's no thinking required. It doesn't hurt your brain. This is hurting my brain. It is not fun. It is not enjoyable. But I'm still going to win. For all of you, for all the people who believe in me, I know. Press one if you believe in me. But yeah, I'm def definitely going to give them that Jirachi. Thank you, Axolotl. See, I, I knew I could believe in you. Wait, did I already give you a code, Axolotl? Because I'll give you a code. I haven't given you a code. So, Axolotl, would you like a free code of 800 crystals? You don't want a code of 800 crystals? For free? You don't want one. Wait, what's the what's the gnaw for sure? Yes, I would like a code. You're a starter. Okay. Yes, you want a code. Okay, good. There you go. It's nice helping out people who are nice to me for the win is lying to try to get a free code. So there you go, Axolotl. 800 free crystals. Mew Skywalker, you want to try Aspathra? I don't know. I don't know if I want to face Aspathra. I'd prefer never to face this deck ever again. And Ender's Game, yeah, you can see the list in the video about the top seven new decks. Oh, that's fine. So if you're curious about the list, I will be posting a video very soon. Probably on Monday or something. But Zoroark has a bunch of new friends. And then we just put up the Jirachi. Prep somebody. We don't want to knock out this Aspathra. Knocking out the Aspathra is dumb. Makes absolutely no sense. Would be a boneheaded decision. Uh, we go level ball. Get the get the mana fee. Because, yeah, they're not attacking the bench at any point. Okay, we go boom, boom. Who else do we need in there? Well, actually, nobody. <laughs> we need nobody in there. So let's go and get the... Well, Zoroark? Because I want to Miriam this turn. So we Zoroark for the Scizor. Hmm. And for the win, I have not seen the Quad Mimikyu Quad Cram deck. Or or was that the one that's just really weird? Like you just play that and then you play a bunch of Lost Zone cards and you try to win? Is that what you're referencing? Just the weird deck? It slaps. So are you, are you, uh, is that a preview of a For the Win video? All right, I have to get rid of the Ultra Ball. I don't want to get rid of the Ultra Ball, but I have to. Okay, that, uh, that did not go according to plan. So we're just going to end turn. So, you know, if For the Win offhandedly mentions a deck, that's how you know that they're working on a video. That means they probably tried it. They are, they're just getting the games for it. Professor Turo, no, not the Aspathra. Not the Aspathra. No, no. That was my win condition. How dare you? Okay. But, but. I hope he's making a video on it. <laughs> Me too. I also hope he's making a video on it. Okay, we can still win this one because they have so many abilities in play. They, I can do 260. Obviously, they'll put the Rigid Band down. But I feel like they're not going to attack with the Aspathra EX right now. 
I really hope they don't attack with the Aspathra EX. Please don't attack with the Aspathra EX. That would be... That would be really nice of you. Uh, yeah, Crisis Falcon Punch. Sorry, Falcon Punch. Alright, so what we're going to do... What we're going to do is we're going to super rod the metal energy back in. And then we're going to counter capture someone on the bench once they go ahead on prizes. So once they get to two prizes, the counter catcher will be live again. They can't attack with this path rate EX this turn though. And well, it was called Crisis Shot in Japan. I guess I didn't want to call it Shot here. But yeah, as long as they don't attack with this path rate EX, we will be fine. Yes, yes, that is that is it. And Ender's Dame, we're gonna win this one for you. This is all for you, buddy. You know, it's it's unfair that they lied to you about the final mission, but you know, you were successful. We don't even have to play the Super Rod right now. That is how good things are going. Okay, we're gonna Artisan. You know, but you got the job done. That's what you were there to do. And then we go Iono. We get cards we can Curlia away because I haven't been getting those all day long. Well, those are not those. <laughs> we can Earthen Vessel, I guess. This is uh, putting me in really unfortunate territory that we could we could just lose here. So we don't need the Force Zerua. That is a inconsequential card. There's the Counter Catcher. I have to play this so perfectly. If I win this, this is going... Well, no, I shouldn't say if I win this, this is going in the YouTube video. Because then everyone watching the YouTube video will know that I win. So I'm going to say, this is going in the video whether I win or lose because I've been playing so perfectly. So there you go. This is to show you exactly how you play Zoroark against this Pathra. Is you have to use your Scizor very perfectly with Reversal Energy. You have to tell your opponent to do all the things... They have to put down all their abilities, and why didn't I counter capture the Aspathra? Because uh, as long as it's the active, attacks used by your opponent's active cost one pip more. So I would not have been able to knock out the Aspathra. So the way that I'm going to win this one is by knocking out single prizers, and then I hit them with the slow bro at the very end. So it's it's very confusing. The the Aspathra messes up so many things. That's why I was able to win so many games on the first day with Aspathra. Is because it requires so much thinking. The deck does play bosses. I've just been prizing bosses like every single game. This is insanity. Okay. So we uh we okay, we counter capture the flittle, because that doesn't have an ability. And then we go. I need to find a Zoroark. Please tell me there's lots of Zoroark left. Yeah, so we're just going to Erezu for all of my Zoroark. We're going to get a Gallade. And then this is GG. Because they cannot, they cannot win this at this point. I am literally goaded in the sauce. That's what the kids these days are still saying. You know, I am in the sauce and I am, I am goaded in it. Okay, we go Phantom Transformation, get the Scizor, we save the Slowbro, and we go Punishing Scissors, we go Zoroark, Zoroark, we evolve into Gallade, uh, I don't think I, I don't think there's anyone to Artisan, well, there's a Ralts, no, deck is Gas, Punishing Scissors, and then they think they're going to win by preventing me from using Slowbro, but not only do I have the bosses, but I can just reversal... <laughs> I can just reversal the Slowbro and attack through his Pathra. So I'm not even going to do anything next turn. I'm literally... Well, I might... You know, I'm going to discard the Stow Villain and... You know, do, do that. But I'm going to do nothing next turn unless they knock out a Zoroark. So if they knock out a Zoroark, I have to get a Zerua down... Otherwise, they can just win. So, if they are able to boss as a Zoroark, I have to get another Zerua. Alright, so that is that is the very important thing, because I would have to have... 
Oh, no. No, even if they knocked out a Zoroark, they have two prizes. I thought they had three prizes. Doesn't matter what they do. If they do anything, I win the game. Uh, well, I mean, if they Iono me, that could put me in a tough position. But we're going to find a reversal off the Iono. Like, geez. Could you imagine not finding what you need off of an Iono to two, and then a Curlia, and then another Iono to two? You would find what you need every single time. I don't even need to use bosses. But Mimi Taxi, they know they're about to lose this game. The writing is on the wall. Like, what is, what, what are you even trying? I'm going to put this game in the video. Mimi Taxa as Pathra EX at what time of the video? I'm, I'm writing this all down. We're going to put it 2.15. This game took forever. But that's kind of what Zoroark is. It's a very grindy deck. Yes, you might have it like that. And you can just go like Roaring Moon, Miraidon. You just win very easily. But then there's the games like Gardevoir and now it's Pathra, uh, Lost Box. Okay, that's fine. That just they just drain all of your brain power. <laughs> judge, judge is a lie. Judge is a lie. But this is why I'm so good at the game is I can foresee what's going to happen before it even happens. They've been doing all these things. Oh, I got to do this to win. I got to do this to win. No, I won the game 10, 10, 20 minutes ago. Because I already knew what was going to happen. I'm not even going to give them the thumbs up. They don't deserve the decency of a thumbs up because they were playing as Pathra and couldn't beat me. Okay? I'm just going to hit them with the slow bro. We're going to get the Twilight Inspiration. Boom. Oh, what's that? I have to have three energy? Oh, no, that's totally fine. That doesn't matter. I told you, this was how it was going to work out. And, and Ender's Game? That's because I always prized my bosses, and I always uh, prized the third Curlia. So it's not my fault, but like every game I've prized those cards. But that's just how good I am, and that's how good Scizor is. Don't even need the Scyther, you just, you just play the Scizor.